Hello, do you know who will cry when you die? In a world filled with distractions and busyness. Who Will Cry When You Die is a book by Robin Sharma, which offers a thought-provoking guide to living a purposeful and fulfilling life. On this video we will look at the key takeaways from the book that will definitely leave you wondering if anybody will cry when you die. The first takeaway is seizing the day. The book emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment and making the most of each day. It encourages readers to let go of regrets and worries about the past or the future and focus on what they can do today to make a difference. Imagine you've been putting off learning a musical instrument because you're always busy with work. Sharma's advice would encourage you to carve out a small portion of your day, even just 15 minutes, to practice and pursue your passion for music. By making the most of each day, you can bring joy and fulfillment into your life. Takeaway number two. Discovering your calling. Sharma encourages readers to discover their true passions, talents, and purpose in life. He suggests that by aligning their actions with their calling, individuals can find greater fulfillment and make a positive impact on the world. Suppose you've been working in a job that doesn't align with your true interests or values. Sharma's guidance would urge you to explore your passions, strengths, and values to identify a career path that truly fulfills you. By aligning your work with your calling, you can find greater satisfaction and purpose. Takeaway number three. Embracing change. Change is inevitable, and the book advises readers to embrace it rather than resist it. Sharma provides insights on how to deal with change effectively and view it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Picture yourself facing a major life change, such as starting a new job or moving to a new city. Instead of resisting the change and feeling overwhelmed, Sharma's advice would encourage you to embrace the opportunity for personal growth and view it as a chance to step out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. Takeaway number four. The book emphasizes the importance of nurturing positive relationships with family, friends, and colleagues. Sharma provides guidance on effective communication, forgiveness, and creating a supportive network of people who inspire and uplift. Consider a situation where you've had a disagreement with a close friend or family member. Sharma's guidance would suggest practicing effective communication and forgiveness to mend the relationship. By nurturing positive connections, you can create a support system that uplifts and inspires you. Takeaway number five. Practicing gratitude. Gratitude is a recurring theme in the book. Sharma encourages readers to develop a daily gratitude practice to cultivate a positive outlook, appreciate life's blessings, and find joy in the simplest things. Imagine you're going through a difficult time, and everything seems to be going wrong. Sharma's advice would encourage you to start a gratitude journal, where you write down three things you're grateful for each day. By focusing on the positive aspects of your life, you can shift your mindset and find joy even in challenging circumstances. Takeaway number six. Prioritizing health and well-being. The book stresses the significance of taking care of one's physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Sharma highlights the importance of exercise, mindfulness, meditation, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Suppose you've been neglecting your physical well-being due to a demanding work schedule. Sharma's guidance would advise you to prioritize exercise and self-care. By dedicating time to physical activity, mindfulness, and achieving a work-life balance, you can enhance your overall well-being and performance. The last takeaway is leaving a legacy. Sharma encourages readers to reflect on their values and how they want to be remembered. He emphasizes the importance of leaving a positive legacy through acts of kindness, service to others, and making a difference in the world. Imagine someone who realizes they want to make a positive impact in their community. Inspired by the book, they start volunteering at a local charity, organizing fundraising events, and mentoring young individuals in need. By actively contributing to causes they care about, they leave a lasting legacy of kindness, compassion, and social change. Who Will Cry When You Die serves as a guidebook for personal growth and encourages readers to live a purposeful and fulfilling life by embracing positive habits, fostering meaningful relationships and making a difference in the world. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos.